Okay, Vishal, what's your favorite food? My favorite food? Haha. <laughs> Seems like you like a lot of food. I, I like different cuisines. I think uh, these days I'm liking Greek salad and Caesar salad a lot. These days, it changes from time to time. So, I would, if you tell me what would you like to have right now or in the next few days, I, I would say probably Greek salad. Um, yeah, that's for now. Any particular Indian dish that you like? A lot. I mean, I'm just thinking. <laughs> Lal Bas from especially how they prepare in Rajasthan is my favorite. Uh, yeah, so many. yeah that, that's for now, that's on my mind right now. Lal Bas and um, kebabs. I like different kinds of kebabs, fish kebabs, vegetable kebabs. I think um, in one of the restaurants, I forgot the name, they make brilliant paneer kebabs. Um, yeah, so. What do you like to have for breakfast? Breakfast uh, depends on what Anupama suggests uh, I have generally. Uh, sometimes it's roti sabji. Sometimes it's uh, what I like to have is not roti sabji. That's something I sometimes I have. My ideal thing is like an English breakfast generally. Or for example, maybe some uh, some sandwich along with a fruit juice and then a coffee. It's fruit juice and coffee. And some fruits and an omelette. Egg white omelette. It's like the ideal combination uh, for me. So yeah, there is. I forgot the name. There is this restaurant, um, the cafe and restaurant out right outside Bangalore Airport. A couple of years ago, until a couple of years ago, any time I used to go to Bangalore Airport or I'm going somewhere or coming back, I used to take the first meal there. It was an expensive breakfast, like fifteen hundred rupees, uh, just for not too expensive, but just that meal, fifteen hundred to two thousand rupees, just for for that. The combination was amazing. I used to love that about. Forgot that name was with something with Q um, of that restaurant. Yeah. And w when you're sick, you know, sometimes we all get sick, you know, when you have flu or something. What do you like to have at that time? Soup, chicken stew, uh, which is very amazingly prepared, at home prepared vegetable soup, uh, piping hot vegetable soup. And, uh, and that's soup is my go to thing when I'm not that sick anymore generally uh, because. I have good immunity. So, but if I ever catch cold, soup. Okay. So then, so this is all about food. It's <laughs> so like that. So, when you are at a particular place, when you're traveling, do you like to experiment with that kind of food or do you like having... When I'm at a heated place. When you're traveling, mm -hmm. so do you like uh, changing your cuisine according to the yeah, place? Absolutely. Wherever yeah. I go, I like to have food from that area. For example, if I'm in Tamil Nadu, I want to have what's there. If I'm in Rajasthan, I want to have dal bati churma or, or Rajasthani lal mas or a mixed veg with misi roti. If I'm in Kolkata, I want to. So generally for me, previously, a couple of until years ago, I had two, three different dishes that I liked and I would only have that no matter where I am, which part of the which part of the country or the world. I think I've changed that. I'll, you know, to, to, to really taste the different kind of experiences, you have to have the different kind of food. So I change the food based on what's special there. And I might like some, I might not like some, but if I don't even taste, how will I know if I like some or not? Okay. Any, uh, so what do you consider yourself as a foodie? Huh? Would you consider yourself as a foodie? Yes. yes. Okay. In fact, uh, Anupama's grandmother recently also said that I'm uh, which means a foodie person, somebody who likes it a lot. So I think I agree with her grandmother, your grandmother. Thank you. So, uh, what do you think, you know, is something that a foodie should keep in mind uh, so that they don't eat too much or they just maintain a good balance in their health? I have a life partner who's a nutritionist. They will stop you. Thank you. That's my question for right now. This was totally Peace. strong. By the way, the, the weather you can see is amazing. Brilliant. It's brilliant. It's drizzling outside. See this part. It's drizzling here right That's now. Great. I'd love to open this a bit. Love that.